Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little project and I'm trying to keep this short. I have all this RAM that I took out of some Dells. You might have seen that video last week. Yeah, start of last week. Well, I actually I had the RAM, but I really need some memory that is in this role of servers because that role of servers or that rack of servers, they have ones. These are all two gigabyte blocks and I want to get the ones out of there because I'm putting those in the Dells in there. So I'm pow I've powered up the top server to uh, find out how what RAM was in that one. And it has a memory error. So that's very convenient because I was gonna change that anyway. So I'm gonna check the memory. I don't think the memory is actually defective, but well, we're gonna go into that. And it's a VMware server, so I have to go in and shut it off at the computer. So we're gonna go in there. And here at the computer, I was just watching a little clip of video that I recorded yesterday. And I just had to take that out of the camera before I could delete everything from last week. And here where my playhouse is, is very uh, nature thingy. And there's a lot of deers. And this is just one of the herds or groups of deers that are around here and if you watch it uh, it seems to be all females so the the males must be hiding somewhere in the woods but there was a lot of them it must have been 130 or something like that back to the server things here i have the computer it right now says 14 gigabytes of memory i think there should be 24 in there so we're definitely gonna shut that down, shut down, yes, that's okay. Okay, so that should be shutting down. Let's go back into the data center. Now the server is blinking up here, right there, the green one, which means it's now powered off. So let's go behind the data racks here. And we Recently someone asked me how I connected to my screen and monitor and it's just a couple of cables that are hanging here and they go down Down here behind and then there is the KVM switch So it's a very 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 simple system Disconnecting computer or keyboard and uh, monitor and they, they can go everywhere else in the racks as well i'm just gonna power off the server remove the cable so that i can actually take it out here we have some the management adapter and i have some clips on here they came with the ibms there and the cables are out and the server should be ready to go out of the rack. This top server is a bit hard to film, but well, here are the, the memory blocks. There are 12 of them, it seems. And I can see some four gigabytes. So there must be some smaller ones in there as well. I do think I'm gonna take everything out and see what I have in there. The goal is to uh, get up to 24 gigabytes in this server. That's about the amount that I really need. Here are the memory that was in the server. I have, I've stacked them up. I always put them in in pairs. So here is two blocks of four gigabytes. Here's another two blocks of four gigabytes. These are one gigabytes, and these are one gigabytes, and these are one gigabytes, and these are one gigabytes. I want to keep the, the four gigabyte blocks in there. So that's um, four, four gigabyte blocks. Then I need to put in some twos instead of those. So I hope all of these ones can go away. And I'll put in some of these twos instead. So let's see. We have 16 gigabytes here. So two more is 20 gigabytes and two more of those and we are up to 24 gigabytes. So that RAM goes out, this RAM goes in. This is the IBM 3650 model one. This is the first model with that model number. 
and it's the 7979 uh, the IBM product number this is my favorite server I like this server a lot it's not the fastest server I got but I really like the build of this and when you have to put in memory in this you have to do it in a specific way there is 12 uh, slots for memory and they are on this drawing down here and that is piece of the thing you take out it actually have the PCI ports here but here are the way that the memory blocks are being put you have to put them in in this order and they have to go in in pairs so the first two dims you put in you put in in number one and number four the next two you already have number one and number four in so you put in number seven and number ten and the next two you put in well you put in number two and number four that's wrong you put in number two and number five sorry and then you put in number eight and number eleven and I have eight blocks that I need to put in this through this server so I have to put them in this order and in pairs so I, I put in the first two which is one and four that's a pair and then I put in the next pair that's seven and number ten and then I put in number two and number five and that's also a pair and I put in number oh, eight and number eleven and that's also a pair there we are I put in the memory so now there is a lot of empty slots here there's let's see there's four of them and that's not a bad thing because memory well it uses power so the less number of blocks that you put in your server the less power the server will consume each of these blocks uses uh, well five to eight watts or something like that so that's actually a lot of power that I'm not consuming here so I'm not putting in four blocks so that's anywhere between 20 watts and 32 watts that I'm saving by not putting in those blocks and I still have the same amount okay let's see now we got 24 gigabytes of memory that's cool I just connected everything put the LED back on it's up here and it's booting the blue thing tells me that it's right now booting but we have a memory error size change but it's probably just telling me that the memory size has changed so that's okay we'll see if there's any errors they should really be up here I think if there was any memory errors we'll see about that yeah it popped up and now it's just telling me that the memory size has changed I can continue let's do that continue and it will bring me into the BIOS and it will just tell me where the change has been there um, actually it's not telling me anything it's just well yeah, it's it seems good so let's just go out again let's save changes yes yes escape yes and let's see if it won't boot VMware now okay it booted VMware just fine so there is only one thing that I really want to do this time and that is to bring you into the computer oh, it might be that way when you're watching this but well let's go into a computer I have something that I want to do this time well a little bit back uh, you might have seen me doing this documentation of my data center and I want to document how the memory configuration is in that server that I just did and that's the top one up here and that's the server that I normally call my first server it's battling a little bit between the the first blade server and the first play uh, server up here because this was one of my first servers I'm I'm calling it one right now and I have put some data in on this server must admit I haven't filled out a lot of this yet I want to keep track of what memory goes in here so I just put in what was in there before so before we had 24 gigabytes of memory although it wasn't working very well uh, we have four four gigabytes and we have eight ones and that I can now change to four two gigabytes like that I don't know if I need to put gigabytes in there I do think that I might be able to remember this but well might as well just do it it's not a big deal also I have the the hard disk which hard disk is in there and what processors are in there and I just went over to VMware over 
here and checked out how much power this consumes as of right now. It consumes about an average of 250 watts. And that's always interesting. So a quick little video on how the memory works on a IBM 3650 Model 1. I hope it's a quick little video because I tend to make these very long. So thank you very much for watching my video. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And join me over at Google Plus where I post pictures of what I'm up to. And have a really nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.